Hmm. Wow. You ever loving on your cat, and then it just kind of starts licking you on the nose, and, and then it just opens its, its mouth and it bites the inside area of your nose? Hmm, that just happened to me. Oh, oh. Cream, why? Why are you like that? Why are you like that? That hurts so much. So much pain. Ow. If I start bleeding from my nose, you know why. Ow. Mm, crying a bit. That really hurt. Okay, so today we're talking about the Lositron Override. Um, also known as Nitrous Prime. I have the Lositron Override right here. And I have this trailer right here. But we're going to talk about that in a minute. First off, we're going to talk about Override. And then we're going to get to that trailer. I know, you're like, why is that trailer there? Well, you will find out. Okay, so over right here is not a very, you know, big transformer, but they are decently sized. Let's get out the handy dandy Lego pad. Handy dandy Lego pad. Handy dandy Lego pad. Don't you fight me today. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see. Handy dandy Lego pad achieved. Let's flip it around, and first off, let's compare with. So this thing is mm, eight studs wide. It still hurts. Cream, that really hurt. And Override's front is, is right there, and that is nine studs wide at the front, eight studs wide at the back. The uh, front is definitely wider than the back in this guy. Now let's put his back wheels, his back bumper against my thumb at the very end of this and put his front fender right there. Holy crap, this is a long one. And he is 17, 18, 19 studs long. 19 studs long by 8 or 9 studs in length. That's, that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and slap this handy dandy Lego pad back under there. And give the cream a hug. Cream! Why did you bite me? Why did you bite me? That wasn't fun, cream. Alright, so... That's the, uh, the explanation on this guy's dimensions a little bit. So let's talk about what he uh, you know, feels like. Because there's not really much to talk about vehicle mode wise. It's a, uh, at least like functionality, it rolls. That's the, that's the gimmick it has. Oh, and its little gun pops into the back here. It has these two little um, doohickeys on either side of it. The gun's not entirely popped in because it's hard to get out. And I want to talk about it on the show today. So... The, um, the front of this vehicle mode is very interesting. It's got two points, one in front of each wheel, kind of like a stingray, uh, if I'm remembering the stingray right. That's kind of how it feels. And in the center, there's another point. So what happens here is that each wheel area points, and then it comes down towards the center, and then it goes back out again to a new point on each side. And this is really neat and interesting. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the 89 Batmobile and how it's shaped. Uh, except that this one's more drawn in in the center. The sides of this thing come up and down around the wheel, very similar to how a uh, modern-day Stingray does it. And I do like the fact that there's this bumper that kind of comes out just a little bit in front of each wheel and gives it some added protection. Because remember, this person's racing on Velocitron. Not all the racers play by the rules. So it's good to have some little armor there that protects the wheel from getting attacked or... You know, something getting sucked into the wheel uh, that you drive over that can cause you to uh, wreck, have an accident. After all, you know, you're racing for leadership here. The, uh, that's the whole thing with Velocitron. They're racing to figure out who's going to be the next leader. That's, that's a weird democracy. Uh, now, the... I um, you know that's not a democracy at all. Now, oops, I dropped off the gun. We're just going to move the gun off so I talk about this guy. So, on the front here, in the very middle of the front area, we've got this really nice engine texture. I hope it's an engine. It feels like an engine. It may not be an engine, but it feels like a nice engine texture there. And then we have this nice little uh, windscreen that comes up. It slopes up from the engine. And then we have the top of the prime head, because this is Nitrous Prime, a.k.a. Override. Uh, they have a prime head, and their head's uh, vent, that big vent that's on the, the crest of the primes, sticks out above this uh, this windshield, and it allows them to uh, take in air. I have a feeling that gives them a nice cold head rush whenever they're driving. You know, you're, uh, 
you're definitely going to be thinking faster with that nice air cooling. The faster you go, the faster you cool. On the sides, building up to that area, we've got some more side sleekness for speed and also armor. Um, it comes, it pokes out just a bit on either side to add extra protection for the cockpit area. We see that there are like these flat armor panels on each side that, that are pointed away from the center. I guess that may be making sure that uh, that nothing's going to pop up out of the wo the road and actually knock his head off because you know, that would be that would be bad for this person. They don't really hide their head too well in vehicle mode, so they've got to be extra protective over it, seeing as it's easier to uh, achieve, it's easier to hit. And cream just disappeared. Um, now, on the back end here, when we put the, this weapon into place, we've got an excellent rear area that has this really cool feeling, uh, like, you know, circular piece, it's some sort of big air engine. The front here is kind of an engine, but really the back, his weapon that plugs in is the engine. You got this cool feeling bit there, you got this venti bit, and you got a, a five millimeter port sticking out where you can attach something, and uh, then you have these two little fins that can fold up or fold down on either side. It all depends on how you want to do it. I think it's really cool. And then you come you know, feeling more on the uh, on the sides of this vehicle. We've got this, uh, this armor bit actually comes out and over some other pieces of the vehicle so you can get your hand between that armor bit that we talked about on the front and uh, the rear of the vehicle. And it allows for some textures of an interior car, at least like suspension textures and stuff in there. And then we come back to this, back, this rear wheel that's pushed out a bit and it's the first time we see something that's actually like right angles and stuff. On this vehicle, everything else here has just been smooth and sleek, and it's all been bendy. And then we come back here, and we've got this armor piece that's got a vent texture to it. I love me some venti texture. Oh, listen to that vent. Oh, yeah. Um, we got that venti texture right there, and that is a straight, flat area that comes to a right angle and then makes another flat area that's slightly, slightly rounded, but not rounded a lot to the rear wheels. So it does make this guy very interesting because the front of him is so aerodynamic and smooth and sleek and then the end of him, this rear part of him is a brick. It's uh, it's very odd. But then again, the rear part here has the engine and all of the torque and you know all of the power. So I guess the idea behind this guy was to make sure that the front doesn't lift off the ground and go flying away. So they made it where the faster this front goes, the more it pushes towards the ground, and that way this guy doesn't go flying off into Neverland or something. So he comes with this gun that becomes his engine, and uh, this gun has a couple of tricks about it. You can pull those pieces up, and then you can take these, these pieces on either side, and you can rotate them around. And uh, yeah, I do like a gun that transforms. I think transforming guns are fun. And you get that nice gun. And we'll talk about this more on our Blindformers episode. And then the episode where we cover the robot mode. But I wanted to remove this gun piece. To bring you this other piece of neat thing that I don't think anyone has really talked about. This is a prime. And so I went, wait, if this is a prime. And then I felt the uh, back here and realized this this 5mm port is directly in the center. And I was like, wait, okay. So it's a prime with a 5mm port in the center of the back vehicle mode area. And, uh, you know what? It does. It rolls. Um, I think that front wheel may be slightly off the ground. Just a smidge. And, uh, we can get that down better. Can't we? Yeah. We just need to, uh, oh, that's in there. That's solid in there. There you go. Uh, it's not perfect. So, like, if we were to do this, things are going to fall down. Oh, <laughs> this is Nemesis Prime's trailer because it has Energon cubes in it. Uh, let's just go put the Energon cubes back up here at the front of it. There we go. And the Energon cubes, get in there. Silly Energon cubes. Now oh, I need a cliff jumper. Let's see exactly how much tilt there is. Well, I guess we could use whatever this MicroMaster is. So, does is there tilt? Yeah, there's tilt. That car rolls down. Yeah, that's tilt. But it's not much tilt, so uh, this is something you can do with him. 
if you want. He can carry a trailer. It's just that, sadly, he's just slightly too far off the ground to make the trailer work perfectly. But, all in all, I think that's an amazing thing you can do with this figure. And I, I, I just, I like the fact that, that that's something, that's an option. And I do enjoy me some more options when it comes to these things. So let me go ahead and put this in the back. And I'm going to go ahead and push it down so it's locked into place. And, uh, yeah, overall rating of Nitrous Primes, a.k.a. Override's vehicle mode, I'm going to give it a good old mm, 9 out of 10. I wish it did something else. Uh, I wish it had some fold-out weapons somewhere or something like that, but this is an excellent little vehicle mode. It's solid. Uh, not as solid as I would like, though, honestly. You know what? You know what? Now that I'm really handling it, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It does have some problems, but... For the most part, it's an excellent, excellent vehicle mode. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely worth the Velocitron collection. Now, if I could just get the one Velocitron figure I wanted. Cosmos. Where is my Cosmos, Hasbro? Where is Cosmos? I need it. I need it so badly. Okay, well, guys, that's today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow we'll cover Blindformers, so we'll teach you how to transform uh, Override here. And then on Thursday, we'll do the video where we go over the robot mode because Velocitron figures come in vehicle mode, so I cover vehicle mode first. And of course, that means we'll be going from vehicle mode to robot mode in tomorrow's Blindformers episode. And then on Friday, we will be covering the next letter of the alphabet. We'll continue on that trend. And don't worry, we are going to be ending that one in the next few months. And uh, then I'm going to start explaining to you some words, you know, most common words as well as numbers. So look forward to that. I know uh, I'm listening forward to it, that's for sure. And I hope you're listening forward to it too. And thank you so much, all of my viewers, for being here, for watching this, and you know, for, for subscribing and liking and, and helping me reach more people. We can raise awareness for the blind together. And I thank you for the help. Until next time, bye-bye for now.